This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. So, yeah, we met Captain Sid last time. And I think we just need to go back to his house. Excuse me, Cloud? The captain say anything? No. Oh. Fuck, Shara. What are you blind? Yeah, yes. Get some tea, damn it. I I'm sorry. Really? Don't mind us. Shut up! Sit your ass down in that chair and drink your goddamn tea. Arr, damn, I'm pissed. Really, we couldn't tell. Kara, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve them some tea, alright? Hmm. These sure things wound up tight. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no. He's always like this. He always like this? That's pretty bad. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon would get tired waiting around for your ass. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that damn oxygen tank. Kara, being careful's good, but it won't do any good no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. He's a very rough character. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel? All clear. Gender number 26, ready for launch. Engine presser rising. Gender number 26, three minutes to launch. Getting countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's the little fucker? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. God damn it. Who the fuck's still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Hera? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little shit. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Good. We must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. Hera's still in here. What are you going to do, Sid? 
If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara. You want to make me a murderer? Captain. Shara? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara. Hurry up. You're going to die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Did forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I... What am I supposed to do? 15 seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Yeah. I don't know if you could do a manual. <laughs> manual pause or stop like that after it fired, but apparently he was able to. And it's stood that way since. Push the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was canceled. My fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's all right. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Probably still doesn't have to be sick. Era. You still haven't served him tea. I, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where is Rufus? Hey, hey. Long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer... How long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program going to start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. President's outside, so why don't you ask him? Ah, good for nothing, fat son of a bitch. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? Lots of sugar and honey, and... Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? I think he just says the same thing about the tea. Oh, no. Hey, hey! Have we met before? Hey, hey! Is the tea ready yet? Yeah, same thing about the honey and lard and sugar. Yes, we get it. You're calling Palmer fat. <laughs> what the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then, what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth. Seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Fuck. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco? Henry took out her space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Yeah, so... Head to the backyard. And yeah, there's Palmer trying to start it. Hmm. Why do I have to do this? 
I'm the head of the space program. Taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Oh. It's the security! Yep, so here we got another boss fight. And we are just fighting Palmer, I think. Yeah. He's actually not too hard from what I remember. For the most part, I can probably just straight on in. Yeah, I guess I might want to still do big guard just to be safe. We got Kate Sith and Baird are pretty close to some limit breaks if we get it built up a little more. Looks like to kiss his ass, I guess. So far he's not doing anything. Maybe it's because all I'm doing is physical attacks. Oh yeah, Mako gun. Yeah, I remember that being pretty much his main attack. It's just what he uses. Not that great. Not really worried about it. And I don't think I've used the dice yet for Kate Sith. Or maybe once, but yeah, he just rolls dice and the damage is based upon the number. So it can be pretty good. That one wasn't bad. I could use some other attacks to get him down sooner, but I... Yeah, it doesn't take too long either way. I think he's done. So the plane starts and he avoids the propeller. Narrowly escaping that death. But he runs and gets hit by a truck. And that is it for that fight. So yeah, kind of a comical thing. We get an Eden coat, which is an armor. As soon as I get a chance, I'll check it out and equip it. But for now, we're gonna try to take over the airplane. It won't stop. Forget it. Get in. It's just barely hanging on. I don't think any of our girls, any of our guys, I don't think they know how to fly, so it'd be interesting. It must be able to run pretty fast, or else it's not really going that fast. But yeah. General soldiers are shooting at us, so they did hit the plane. Emergency landing. This is going to be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. Yeah, sorry, I think I missed a line from Sid there when he jumped on right away. But, yeah, crash into the ocean. It was a pretty soft landing, though, as far as crashes go. We won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Yeah. Do whatever you want. Sid, what are you going to do now? Don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on the town. How about your wife? How about Shara? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. Seem to be acting pretty much as a wife, more of a servant, I guess. What are you guys gonna do? Going after a man named Sephiroth. 
We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? I don't care. In case that doesn't say anything. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah. Anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. But where are we headed? Rufus was going after S Sephiroth towards the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients. Don't know. That gnome school kid was telling me he was heading to the wrong direction. Maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. All right, so how to quote unquote fly the tiny Bronco. Yeah, so we can use it to navigate in shallow waters. So yeah, you can't go into the deep blue, but we can use all of the light blue. And yeah, we are a little ways off from Rocket Town. We could land here and there is another town, but you have to go through the mountains and stuff. And we will do that eventually, but I'm not gonna do it first. Cause this is a, this is a point in the game where we get a chance to do some optional things before we progress with the story. Um, yeah, there are some ways around here where you're going to be blocked from going forward. Well, let's just head along the shoreline. And if you want to, you can go back and get your buggy there. And we can get back to Rocket Town a lot more easily now. I think I can... Nope, I can't menu while I'm in the tiny Bronco. Let's actually dock at the beach and go in because I want to check out that Eden coat. I think it has... Okay, I was going to say I thought it had lower defense, but it's actually pretty good. So, actually, I think I might... No... I already have a lot of materia in that one for him, so I'd probably rather not do that. Let's give it to Barret. Maybe. Or, oh, Cloud has cover. Yeah, let's go there. So, now I can equip some more materia on him to fill out some of that that I haven't been leveling up. Probably gonna try to get my magic stuff up. Well, what else did I have? Oh yeah, I don't have a throw on anybody, so let's do that. Let's keep going on heal, I guess. Okay, let's get back in though. And I think, yeah, what you want to do to progress back to where we want to be is you can also go on rivers and go up the waterfall. But yeah, we can go through the river, which would actually get us back to this area, which is where we want to be to go with the story because I think we actually want to go to Gold Saucer and the house over here. I think the house over here would be the next stop. Let me just check that out quick while I'm here. Yeah, the guy's home now. Huh? Oh, another customer. Sure picked an out-of-the-way place, but... But if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? <laughs> that was like Scarlet. Maybe this is a relative of hers. <laughs> Don't take it seriously. It's just a legend. Huh? What? 
I guess let's take his dialogue here and see what he says. I sold it already. Yeah, well, to tell the truth, I didn't really want to sell it, but the guy had a way about him that made you feel like it might not be the be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who'd you sell it to? The manager of the Gold Saucer. I think his name was Dio. Said he was going to put it in his museum. Then he took off out of here. Yeah, so that's why we gotta go to the Gold Saucer. Where's the temple? Come on, it's only a legend. But if it were true, that sure would be something, huh? You mention it. I have heard of something called the ultimate destruction magic. It's supposed to be hidden somewhere in the Temple of the Ancients. Ultimate destruction magic? Come on, I told you not to take it seriously. What if we change the subject? All the weapons you see here, I made myself. But lately, I haven't been able to get materials. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any mithril on you, would you? I'll trade you something good if you could spare some. Let's give him some. I do have it from that guy sleeping in the cave over by Junon. Hey, thanks. Alright, you can help yourself to either a big box or a small box. I think you can go back and get more mithril and get both of them, but... Uh, you I think the more rare one would be the small box, which is up here. Received the great gospel. Huh? What? And that is... A limit skill. Oh, yeah. These guys don't want anything to do with it. I'm pretty sure this is the one for Eris. So let's see if just learning all the skills is enough for her to be able to learn her final limit break. I think it is. Oh, I've got more crap in my inventory than I remember. This should be okay. Alright. Now let's check that out. There we go. She has her level 4 limit break, and there is only one for level 4. So if fully restores all alloys, all allies, and makes them invincible one time. So it does that, plus that. So yeah, it is like level three, both spells together, or both abilities together. So it's pretty nice. And we are able to get that one fairly early for her. I mean, yeah, we got... Um, we got red 13s a little sooner, but not by too much. I think we can go around here. Get back over to, yeah, over by the other continent here. Back by Junon and Edgar. I don't remember if I can go through here or not. Looks like it. What I want to do is I want to head to the northern continent. I don't remember if I can go around this way or if I need to go all the way back through that river and around north past Rocket Town. That might be it. Because I kind of feel like I can't get all the way around this edge, but we'll check it out. I'm already all the way over here. I think, yeah, Chocobo Ranch is over here. That's why I was kind of saying with um, Port Condor, that stuff, we aren't going to have to waste as much time getting back to it now because after we get this, it makes travel a little bit faster, even if it's still kind of tedious going around the coastal shorelines. Hey, okay, there's Calm. Edgar's right over here, too. See a little bit of it from there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, yep, this was right, it looks like.
there's a little bit of a bone structure there. Probably better save it just in case. I don't remember if the enemies in this area are too difficult or not. I mean, I don't think they should be too difficult for the point where I can't handle them, but yeah. Been a little while since I saved anyway. Yeah, here we have a new place. It's got some NPCs. Vulcan Bowen Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? Have you seen Sephiroth? Oh, the man in a black cape? He was looking for the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? It's way down south. Right on the other side between the town and the Inland Sea. Or this town and the Inland Sea. It's the pyramid that rises within the forest. How do you get in? You'll need a keystone. What's a keystone? Just like it sounds. A rock that's a key. I heard that some rich guy has it. Yeah, so they do kind of give you a little more information here. Now, did I ch all the options? Yeah, I think so. What about what are you doing? We're excavating. It's like the land's telling a history of the planet. Wanna buy something? But yeah, they do also have a shop. Got diamond bangles. Okay, so yeah, more materia slots there. Or rune, which is not as many slots, but that does have double growth. I'm probably not gonna use those. Just because you can see the defense isn't as good, but it is kind of rare because I don't think you get a lot of armors with double growth materia. I'll get at least three of these diamond ones. Otherwise, yeah, I think it's all items we've had access to before. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not going to leave Harris at the party for now, so let's swap her back out. Plus, I never changed her materia. Let's get Kate Sith back in. And now I got two more materials I can put on. So I gotta transform an earth and a fire already equipped because I have two of those. Steel though, I'll get going on that. Probably start going on an MP plus. Anything else this guy did? No, it's just buying stuff, I guess. Guess I can't talk to that guy. I thought maybe I could. You can awaken the sleeping forest if you have the lunar harp. Once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. You simulate earthquakes by using bombs. And then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now the forest is asleep and anyone who wanders in while it's asleep it confuses. You can go in, but you may never come out. Yeah, that's alright. So if you hang around in here a little bit, I think eventually you're going to see something moving around. I don't remember if it's based upon me walking. I might need to go another screen up yet. Okay, yeah, this is it. See that over there? There's a red dot moving around behind the trees.
That is the Kajada Materia. Well, actually, I guess I might be changing one of them out already. Yeah, let's get it on double growth. So, Kajada is a three-time, a three-way elemental attack. It's basically fire, ice, and lightning. So it's not necessarily the best to use, because if you have an enemy that absorbs or either one of those elements, then it's just going to heal them. But, yeah. Let's just leave it that way for now. So next time I get an open material slot, I'll need to go with sense. If you try going forward through this place, yeah, it will just kind of loop you around and lead you back, so you can't get anything else here for now. Alright, with that, we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. So we'll pick up here next time, and there are a couple other optional things I want to do before we go to the Gold Saucer and talk to Dio. First of all, I want to try to get another piece of Mithril so I can go back to that guy that we got the limit break from, because I think you can get one more thing from him. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.